It's not often that we pause and reflect on this channel. I have just started to sort everything out for this video. This is going to be a real life physical tier list video. Look at that. I've had to boot the old dinosaurs back up. I'll be sorting through every single one of these. Oh my goodness. There's another PC in the basement with like a hundred videos on it. It's going to be a trip down Baton Lane. Let's try not to tear up. I've just completed a massive step. This is the thumbnail and title of every video that relates to a bait that I've made on YouTube. That's pretty awesome just to hold it in your hands like that. I need to get a cork board. I'm not going to put a piece of tape on the back of every one of those. I'm going to get tacks and a cork board. I just paid $75 at Office Depot for that. Whoa. <laughs> There is the pile we will be drawing from. And there's 300 tacks. Wow, I almost just blew all those away carelessly. Should we do them in order or should we jumble them up? Let's do them in order so we can all get a good understanding of like the passing of time. Maybe because I got one with a nice frame, it was $75. You all deserve a nice frame. Okay, let's go through the categories. The highest degree of officialness that anything can ever achieve is Omega Official. We shall be selective with this category, not just anything goes up here. Official, B official, C official, D official, and F gets no official. I'm not going easy on these baits. First up, an explanation is in order. This is not the first video on the channel by any means. But this tiny little crankbait is the first video that I edited. Chelsea used to edit the other ones before then. This one is also the first video to get over a million views on the Marling Baits channel. Quite a substantial feat. I don't know if that's going to factor it all into how I judge these. View count. Is it appropriate for that to be a variable? I tested it in the video. It did not catch a fish in the video. It caught a fish later off video. No detailed carving. It's all just a paint job. First one, I think. It's going in deficial. I'm not kidding. Sure, it's special and stuff, but whatever. Who, like, I've decided this is not about sentimentality at all. This is how good the lure was, how official the lure was. That's it. That doesn't mean if it caught fish or not. That means coolness of lure plus if it caught fish or not plus random thoughts that pop into my head equal how official things are. I better move along. There's a lot to do. Number two, the wooden jerkbait. Long, long time ago. This did not catch a fish. This is when we didn't have kids and Chelsea could help me get action shots of the lure way back when. And Chip was like just a puppy. Good times. This isn't about sentimentality though. The batch of jerk baits that I made in this video, it's all the same lure, but I made a ton of them. And the carvings were rushed because it was a batch of baits. So it's kind of like I didn't even carve. I could have just painted those. It's going in D. It's just as deficial as the little crankbait. Now we're stepping things up. Immediately in this video, a fish was caught. I showed it. I was so proud that I put it as the first thing in the video. Carved ears, not a lot of carving. Caught a fish. It gets a C. It can't go any higher than C. It's, it caught a fish. They're cool because they got like a rat tail. They're a swim bait. They have a joint. There's more going on here. It's close to a B, but stuff like this exists. So I can't, I need to leave myself room. And I'm not ranking within categories, by the way. This is chronological graded officialness. I think this video's got over a million views too. I didn't talk. In none of these videos that we've gone over so far, I've talked either. This is Mute Marling making baits, and I made this big thing. It's got carved gills. This is what I just call the wooden holographic shad swim bait. Did not catch fish. Worked extremely well. Got really good action video of it. The video got over a million views. I think because it's a three piece, it has a urethane rubber tail even. It's going with the rats. Didn't catch a fish, but all that other stuff makes it that official. The wooden perch swim bait. I gave this thing away to somebody. Meticulously carved each individual scale while listening to Bloodborne soundtracks. It's a video game. And cutting my hand and getting blood on the scales and just not stopping. The action was sad. 
It didn't have that good of an action, therefore I probably didn't even show it that much, the action of this bait. Back then I was still learning a lot, even though I had already been making lures for like four years. I was still learning a lot. It's big, beautiful, bad action, didn't catch a fish. I'm hesitant to give it a C fishel because of the bad action. I think it's going to get a D. I was right, it gets a D. F is reserved for things that made me kind of angry even. Sad, angry, depressed, thoughts of not continuing, that sort of stuff. The big wooden three-piece trout swim bait I put on my wall for a long time. I really liked it. Oh, I still have it. The big three-piece wooden trout swim bait. I was at a point in my lure making life that I really liked. I was just discovering how to kind of do up baits that well, you know? The paint's not perfect. The, the carvings aren't perfect and stuff. The nostalgia is overriding right now. I'm about to give this a higher score than C just because I made a plaque for it. Oh! I was also doing this thing where I put it in a vacuum chamber inside of a container of polyurethane and bubbled all the air out of it and completely saturated this thing with polyurethane and therefore it's like a rock and the action's not good. So, no, it, it's getting a C. The action's not good. It's beautiful and that is all it's got going for it. I hung it on my wall as a display piece. It's not really a lure. I forgot about that. You would think I'd put that with like fail F, but no. I like it that much. I already had to change the battery just now. And I'm on six. Seven, the big resin tail spinner. There has got to be a lot of you that haven't seen a lot of these. No fish, an action I can't even remember, so it could not have been that good. Wooden baits are cooler than resin baits. I'm sorry if that offends people who make resin baits, but that's the facts. Yeah, D, official. This is gonna make me wanna delete some videos. Like that's, that's a video? I must've been going through a phase because I'm recalling how lackluster this video was too in this bait. No fish caught. And I remember the action being slightly bad with this. Fire Tiger, one of my favorite paint schemes. Oh, it's got carved gills. Let's give it a D. It's got carved gills, we'll give it a D. And I'm trying not to just put everything in the same category, but I was going through a phase here, like I said. This video shot to a million views like last year for some reason, randomly. It was hovering less than 100,000 and then boom. Sometimes videos do that. Weirdly shaped resin lipless crankbaits. These worked well. The action was pretty good for what they are. They're they were too thick bodied to be a typically functioning lipless crankbait, but different at the same time. So they're kind of cool. Resin bait, carved gills, good action, a million views. Let's give it a C. And I hope you guys are enjoying this just a little bit. I'm giving myself time, sneak peek, to work on some videos that require more time by doing this. That proves it right there. This was a phase. This was a resin phase. Not that much more, but a little bit more creative you can be with wood. Sorry, I just yoded. I gave every single one of these away. I used to have like six laying around. There's nothing that people appreciate more than when you give them a handmade lure. So these are all gone. I could have showed you. The scales were amazing. I found two pieces of it in a drawer. I can't find the tail piece. That was the third piece with a door hinge joint. I spent a lot of time. I've caught multiple fish off video. That matters. If it's off video, that's not so official, but it's better then all of those. Easy. Even though it's resin. Fellas and gentlemen, we got our first beef official. That was 10. We did 10. <laughs> what is it? The little resin tail spinners. There's a reason that this is a special video. It caught a ton of fish on video. I had my drag set too light and I was annoying everybody and every other comment on that video is like, dude, turn up your drag. That's something big. Oh, it's coming in at me. So a ton of criticism in the video. And at the same time, this was the first video I ever talked in. In 12 hours, this will be done, ready to mold some blanks. I got, uh... So it was quite the introduction to talking on YouTube. When people watched it, the traction started taking place and people subscribed. And this right here was the start of the channel taking off. Glued on mesh scales, carved gills, caught a ton of fish. I'm starting to think that a crucial element in what makes things official is if it seems like it would catch fish and then you do, that's like whatever, okay. But if it's not normal, it's something unique and it catches fish, that's more official. This is like, duh, yeah, you're gonna catch fish. So, have we grown from our resin stage yet? I don't know. Yes, we have. 
the medium sized wooden crankbait. This is bigger than the little one. Chip was in the video. I don't know how many views it's got. It got less views than that one. It caught a fish in the video. I think it was a smallmouth at the river. It looks better. Did I already say that? It looks better. Perfect, like a spot on. Intentionally, I tested these. It didn't catch a lot of fish. This is a lot of fish. Official's a lot of fish. It caught one fish. The buzz duckling. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to unique. Like if this caught fish, that would be very official. If this caught a ton of fish, I would consider the Omega official. It's got the uniqueness factor and the beauty and that lure making vibe, but it caught no fish. I should also explain. I think at this time I was going through stuff in my life. I think I had to put my cat down around this time. I was so broke. I had no money. <laughs> a lot of sitting around thinking, what should I do? I really wanted a life. If you, if you know what I mean. And I thought to make this, I thought I need to go full unique. I'm going to make a duck lure. Marling baits needs to be crazy creations, you know, instead of just functional fishing stuff. And there it is. There's nostalgia to this. This is a, this is a very meaningful lure to me. I gave it away at a, on my Patreon account. So I gave it away for money, but it's a very meaningful lure to me. <laughs> Let's just give it a B. Strictly speaking on official terms, it, it also deserves a B because of the detail and the uniqueness. The Hornet. Pretty much the same thing, but it caught fish. It's jointed. It's got little holographic string wings. Not that detailed. It's cool, it caught fish. It's, it's equal with the duckling because it caught fish. The uniqueness is gonna start trickling in. Like the baby turtle. I think I called it a snapping turtle in the video, but was referencing off of a different type of turtle. I don't know. It kind of had a shimmy shake. The action was pretty bad. Bait did not catch any fish. The paint job's a little weird. Even the detail I put on it, I regret the way it looks. So yeah, it gets a D. I bet you weren't expecting that. The cute little baby turtle gets a D. But now that I explain, you definitely agree. The cricket, what a strange lure. I made like wire legs and attached little pieces of wood to it to beef up the legs, a metal lip. It cranked a little bit. The action was a little bit good. I remember catching one fish with it. I might've caught more. Later when I'm editing, I'll be looking at a lot of footage of each one of these baits as videos. I'm probably finding different reasons to put them other places, but I'm going off of memory in one shot, ranking all of these right now. That's what this is. So feel free to tell me why it deserves to be in a different spot, but I'm, I'm thinking C, because I don't like this lure very much. It has a lot going for it on paper. I just can't get behind it all that much. C Fischl. On to the next bait. The crawdad, the wooden crawdad, with those two weird little hooks off the ends of its pinchers. I hooked into what was probably a big catfish at a pond on video with this bait, but it got off. And then after that, I caught what was nearly a four pound bass right under a dock. Even the action of this bait was correct. It had a wobble because the butt was flared out and it caught water in it. It kind of just kept it hitting the bottom and wobbling, just like a crawdad bait should. So, crawdad bite. I'm scared that as I get older, I'm gonna talk like a very cultured Midwesterner. It caught me a four pound bass. It's going in be official. Three pounder, four pounder, be official. It's better than the cricket. The engorged tick. I said tick. I said engorged tick, not engorge. And then miss the D on the end of the engorge and just add it to the beginning of tick. I didn't say that. I said engorged tick. This was a very official lure. Slightly expected, it's gross, and it's just this ball, so kind of not expected at the same time too. You're essentially fishing with a big white ball. Good action for being a ball. I had the lip just perfect, because I used it afterwards. I've caught mud shiners, chubs, white bass, bluegill, all the sunfish, normal bass, small mouth. Do I still have it? It's right there. It's pretty official that I still have this, the markings and stuff nasty little thing. I'm hesitant to put it in official, but I think it deserves to be in official because it just caught so many fish. No, it didn't catch any good fish. It caught a bunch of different kind of fish, but they were all whatever. It gets to be beefishal. Happy birthday, Chippy. Okay, this might have done it. This might be the one. Breaks the barrier. The chipmunk, the mahogany chipmunk. Chelsea tied the treble. The paint is just so pleasing with the wood. There's a lot of dust on it, sorry, even a spider web. It's old. The coffin lip, the little, the tiny little feet, the knock. Probably the first bait that made good noise on the channel. Caught a fish on video with that, and then oh, went on to catch like pike and other stuff, a lot more fish off video. Good fish too. It's official, fellas. 
And then once this was achieved, I don't, that video's got a lot of views too. Forgot to say that. It did the trick. Once we got here, we learned how to get here. And then I immediately got there again. With the shark. It's shark week. Caught a fantastic smallmouth out of the river with this. Went on to catch more smallmouth. I think that's all I ever caught on this was smallmouth. Smallmouth like sharks, it's official. The only issue is I ended up putting a lip on it afterwards, which there destroyed the action. So I just left it on and put it up, put it away. As a reminder not to destroy my baits after I make them. Fins are even curved like a real sharks. It's cool. It's cool. It caught good fish. Small it looks good. Smallmouth like sharks. This was the point I actually learned how to be official. Let's see if I can maintain that. No. Yep, yep. Are you sleeping? I guess I needed a break. Really, this was just kind of of a video because I guess I needed a creative breather. And I just did some open pour little bleh, little tadpoles that are just kind of like a tapered tube. And I did a weird little salamander that like with no detail on it too. I think no matter what, if it just looks like garbage, it's got to be deficial. That's a solid effort. The dragonfly. Balsa wood, line through, Lexan fins. I took my time with this bait. I wanted it to be something very special, and it kind of was. The action wasn't. The action was like a sputter on the top, but all evenly. The whole bait just kind of jumped like No water was being scooped and thrown or anything. It was just So when it comes to looking just like a dragonfly, though, this did the trick. Chelsea caught a fish with this. Beautiful, not so official, lots of views. B. And then I remember frustration with this lure, mainly around the fishing. I remember the action being decent, but fish not biting it, me ripping the legs off of it, and it never getting to be official. It's a wooden baby alligator. One joint, and it just had a little shake if you reeled fast. That's pretty lame. I should have made the arms, instead of facing out and forward against the body and back, that's how they are on a real alligator. I don't like this bait. I didn't like it. It never caught a fish. I still have the stupid thing. This is frustration materialized right here. I don't know why it doesn't catch fish. It just doesn't. I did a lot of carving. That's mesh scales. I carved a checkered back. I remember fishing with Chelsea while fishing with that and just wanting to stop. Like, I was being a big baby. I'm about to call it. You're giving up. I just threw my lure at a rock. I think we should go to one more spot. What? Yes, we can't give up yet. What spot? I don't know. There is no spot. <laughs> Let's go to oh, our wedding spot. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, fine. <laughs> Rest in peace, anglerfish. It was a lipless crankbait that worked very well. It was snagged before it could ever catch a fish, but I believed in it very much. I had a lot of confidence throwing this because the action was so good. It took a week to make, it took like 30 seconds to snag. It just exuded what I was going for though. Just this gnarly thing. Due to its unfortunate destiny, it can do no better than sea fishel. On to the Helgramite. This caught fish. This thing was ugly. I think this was an injection silicone mold body, AKA a very bubbly, bumpy body. Best to use aluminum when you want to inject bait. You can, but it's just harder to get a good finish with a silicone injection mold. And I made a jig head that looked like the head of a Helgramite for it. Kind of cool, but not that cool. Caught fish, not a ton. The details there just because of the legs, but nothing else. And I didn't even, like I just glued stuff into a piece of wood for those legs, so. It's actually going in D. It's official though. It caught fish. Those caught fish. It's a lot like those. It really is. I'm pretty harsh on my work now that I look at this, you know? We have arrived at the no electricity crankbait. This one's hard to grade. It wasn't able to be that detailed because I didn't have electricity. I did catch a lot of fish on video with it. I used holographic stuff, painted bars, painted a gill structure on it. Apparently I weighed something with an electric scale on this video, so it nullifies the whole video and I should just delete it off my channel. Minus that, this thing's pretty good. Given the restraints, I think it's that good. No, it's that good, no. No, it was restrained, so it's not that good. That is how strict we are rating things. I don't care about any bait's misfortunes. It abides by the grading system. 
Next up is the cicada. I had high hopes for this thing. I thought this was just gonna be the catchiest fish catcher ever. The time of the year was right. The bait was so detailed and spot on. Lex and wings. Meticulously painted cicada body. It didn't catch anything. It wasn't ever official. Can you believe that? This little bug with a treble hook hanging off the back did never caught anything, ever. I fished with it off camera too. Cause the wings stuck out so much and blocked any fish's ability from being able to get hooked up. The amount of frustration I went through to try to catch a fish and never end up catching a fish with this spoils all of the beauty that this bait has. An artistic pizzazz. Look at that little green stripe on the bottom of the wing. I was like, mm, that's gonna flash in a bass's eye. And from 12 feet away, it's gonna launch itself with a wide open mouth, engulf this thing. That probably happened a dozen times. Not one time hooked up on a fish. Therefore F, the Roman made mother. I think this is the last video I shot on this super old camera that I used to have. I was so nervous I was gonna like get in trouble. <laughs> get in trouble? Because I'm making somebody else's bait and like people are gonna hate me or something. But it never mattered, nobody cares. They blocked me, probably because they think I'm, I don't know, what goes into the thought process of blocking somebody because they tried to make your bait just one for themselves, you know? I don't know. What do you have to think? Maybe they think I won't see any more of their products and therefore I won't copy them anymore. Dang copycats. That didn't work out though. Extremely good action. Sort of close replica of the real thing. The carving on the real thing's better, in my opinion. It's just a finer tuned bait, more clean. Tons of views, that's why I made it, for the views. I don't think it can be that official of a thing though because I just copied somebody else. So, it gets a D. They're gonna think that I gave their bait a D. The long-eared sunfish. The world record size long-eared sunfish. All the fins fell out and off after fishing with it for probably like three times. So that didn't work out well. They were huge. The fins on this thing were destined to fall off. But more importantly, you see that joint right there? And it's just about to start blowing out. I'm pulling resin right there on the end of that joint. And I dropped it and cracked the eyeball, the glass eye. Just a miraculous paint scheme on this thing though. This big hunk of resin. The wooden master is actually my favorite thing to keep around and have on display, even compared to this. That, even though it's not even a lure, is pretty official. I think this has more views than the Roman made even, so. Oh, the action, dang it. Frustrating. It just kind of stayed on the top and like, pretty much didn't function as a lure, so dang. Some of my best videos, potentially seven-ish million views that I'm just calling, giving it a D. All that stuff is a D. So the, long, the world record long-eared sunfish, it's a lot like the wooden trout, completely non-functional, but I put so much effort into the beauty of it that it still deserves a C. At no point, maybe the head, the wooden head, maybe, in the process of making this lure did I enjoy it. This was stupidly meticulous for just that sake, and, th and that's it. This was at a time where I need, I thought I needed to like not show that I'm miserable on camera. I'm hoping it's not gonna take another four days. Uh, so I was secretly suffering and like, <laughs> having a fun time guys, <laughs> such an awesome build. But yeah, you throw it in the water and everything just lines up perfectly and it just does this. People said I should try to put a lip on the front of this. A little will do that. There's way too much here. This is getting an F. The 100 piece milk snake. Milk snake. Everybody says that I say milk wrong. Thinking a milk snake. A milk snake. You're wrong. Is getting an F. You believe some people say milk like milk? Pass me the milk, please. If somebody politely walked up to me and, and extended out some milk, and said, here, take some milk. I would slap the milk out of their hand and walk away, because that's not how you say milk. It's like elk with an M on the front. That's how you say milk. You gotta stand for something in this world. Yet another big, beautiful creation that I just gave away. Who has this? The world record size rock bass. Not even a swim bait. Flappy back tail bait that didn't have a good action. It sat up. It too just sat on the top and teeter tottered. No fish were caught. Bad action. Ridiculous amount of detail. I might as well have just been making replicas at this point. Just don't do the joints. Make it a nice curved, naturally flowing body. Fins, make a stand. That's what I use it for anyway, you know? Same with this. I think it deserves less 
than the long-eared sunfish because this has even less to do with catching a fish. It's close to three pounds, so. It was around this time that the uploads started slowing down quite a bit. The winter, the first substantial YouTube winter I went through where I can't just do a one day or go out and fish with the bait I just made. I ended up catching a fish on video with the bigger one of these jigging wraps. Ice fishing jigging wraps, that's what we're rating right now. They look like beautiful jigging wraps. I mean, how crazy can you get with these things, you know? Those are great colors though. Official, not that cool, it gets a C. As you can see, kind of boring though. I think I was going through a slump at the time. This stuff's kind of boring. See, more boring stuff. This is just drop shot, fish shaped, soft plastic stuff. A little bit of airbrushing. These were baits for winter fishing that I made. I was just trying to catch fish. I realized how the winter just caused everything to start falling apart and I'm like, how? Oh, I just gotta catch fish and I never caught a fish with these. So it was a fail. The baits are kind of a fail, they, they're ugly. Not ugly, there's the master. I mean, it's like a nice little bait fish body. There's no reason to feel good about these. F, that pathetic attempt to catch fish was a fail. So I abandoned the effort to catch fish and just made cool stuff, the toe biter. The action was weird because it, it wanted to dive and do a movement through the water. Not a crank, nothing fast, nothing super attractive, just like, I just like all of the bug-like, iridescent, shellish detail. Shellish. Cool looking, kind of had an action, didn't catch a fish. Doesn't deserve a B though. Y'all remember the mosquito? I fished for trout with it very, very early, pretty much winter still, and snagged it in the creek. I believe the feathers that I used for wings on it fell off. It even had like a little stem on its face coming out as the sucker. It was just a thing that you tapped across the top of the water, no action. That's pretty bad. And it's way less detailed and cool than the toe biter. It gets a sad D. I tried with this one, you know, and it, it's still pretty bad, so that's pretty sad. I thought I was making something small and detailed and cool that was going to catch fish. Nope. Next, the real gold swim bait, AKA a piece of wood covered in super, super thin gold. Pretty much no gold. Can you imagine if I weighed it with gold and there's like two ounces of gold inside of it? That's probably gonna happen someday on this channel. Like I've cut a $1,200 bait up. I've wasted a lot of money on this channel. Look at this cork board, 75 bucks. So that I'm probably gonna weigh a bait with real gold someday. But because of the clickbaitiness of this, and it doesn't even look that good as the bait that it is. Oh, it's right there. I didn't think I still had this. I made a Lexan tail fin for it because the old one fell off. And yeah, look it. It's just a crackly, foily gold everywhere finish. No fish, good action. That's a wooden swim bait, finely tuned wooden swim bait. Very good action. It does, I can't do C, it has to be D. It's not a complete fail because the, the bait works good. It's kind of a depressing point in the channel, you know? Things were not that official back then. And then everything changed. This is the thumbnail for the little lipless crankbaits. See that little lipless crankbait in that bass's mouth? That means it's official. And boy was it, I caught many tanks on this bait. Nothing to take a lot of pride in when it comes to the craftsmanship and the detail. It's just a little lipless, but it caught a lot of fish. And it kind of took me out of a slump. It took me out of this slump. So, just because of that, it gets a B. I appreciate this bait. <laughs> After hours and hours of fishing with the giant wasp, a big old pond bass blew up on it and made the video official. So, I gave this bait to Fish Daddy 401. He's the owner right now. It's a topwater crawler. The body of this bait sinks, which get, which ends up giving it a lower score for sure. Topwater crawlers need to float. So this is a little off to begin with. It is official. I did I caught a fish with it using the correct action. Once you got it going and got it to the top, it crawled just fine. Lots of carving. Caught a fish. B. That took all day. Bass-like giant wasps. It's official. Little bit of too much desperation for views, I guess, because more so I think this was just trying something, seeing if that's what is interesting, that sort of stuff. I, for me, this sort of stuff does not work on YouTube. That bot sniffs it out and just no. You come up with original creative content or you no get views. That's been my experience on YouTube. So I kind of canned the idea after this unsuccessful video of making a lightsaber lure. I caught a fish, the action, it had a prop, a spinning prop on the back and that's it. And I caught a fish at a very, very, very healthy stocked pond. 
So not that official, not that good of an action because there wasn't a lot of splash. And the finish on it was all cracked because I, I mixed uh, some spray can paint with some water-based paint, whoops. I'm gonna give it an F actually. I'm gonna give it an F because I learned my lesson. Through that failure, I learned not to hop on the back of other successful things in order to just get views and money real quick, you know? 39. Talk about the start. This little crankbait was the start of the one days. I don't have time to explain. I'm just gonna start. A lot of you already knew that. Little crappie got the UV clear coat so I could cure it in one day and paint it and carve it and everything. And I caught a crappie with this at a lake, a public lake. That's pretty official, all in one day. Later on in this lure's life, it became known as the Old Faithful. There was pretty much no point ever when I went out to a body of water with got this one. that I didn't catch a fish with it that year. Possibly the most official numbers wise bait I've ever made that I've caught fish with. And it was the first one day, it was extremely successful. The bait's action was, it's got nostalgia, and it was so successful. It's better than the shark and the chipmunk, it really is. Oh man. Holy crap, fellas. It's a mega official. I wasn't expecting that actually, but I thought about it enough to where, yeah. That's the first one day, and it's special because it was so successful. It makes sense to me, I'm not moving it. That's where that belongs. We did it, Chip. I snagged it in a tree like a year after I made it. The second one day ever done, Tiny Mouse had a joint in it, caught fish with it, but the action wasn't that good. Even though I did catch fish with it, the action, uh, it was lacking that. It being a one day though, and I carved the ears and I brush painted the fur. It's obvious that it would have been official, so is that. But beyond wow. it being obvious um, that it was official, it, it exceeded the fish catching potential I thought it had. This did not. Very similar, but it's no better than the little lipless crankbaits. It's, yeah, it's a B. Can't beat that, right, Chip? Right, Chip? Chip! Get out, drop it. Soft plastics, I took a break from hard baits and I made some poison dart frog. I gave them the splotchiness and the spots and the bright colors. These things have those ridiculous, large, flappy feet too that extend and coil back up when you pull it through the water. Worked pretty good. I got a bass out of the river with it and I think that's all I caught with it. I gave the mold to Chris Jones and he poured some. That's pretty official. But once again, I feel like this bait oh, was just a, uh, like I wanted to kind of take it easy. It really is like a creative drain doing this always. You do need to know when your brain wants to slow down a little and just make something simple, you know? I don't think it deserves a D because they're not a fail. Everything was a general success about this lure. So it's a B. They're just uh, pretty cool. Like this is the dividing line, bad, good. And it doesn't deserve to go much higher than where good starts. Another one day, I got one day happy. This was the year of one days. It really upped the upload frequency rate for my channel and I took full advantage that year. Let's be real for monetary reasons. Um, one day jitterbug. From what I can remember, it didn't catch a fish. It had the action. It had the capability of catching a fish. It had the beautiful flashy body, holographic foil. A failed one day is a pretty big problem. With something like that on its record, because I intentionally make one day lures smaller and more based around what I'm certain with, but it didn't catch the fit. Like that's a pretty big fail. It gets a D. I lost it too. I didn't just snag it in a tree or in the water. It popped off on a cast. So even more failure. If it had a bad action, I'd give it an F, but B facial. Chip, chip. Come comfort me. Oh. Just let me hug you. Good boy. Thanks, Chip. The one day ultralight whopper plopper. Very similar to the jitterbug. Topwater one day, small, just needed to catch a fish for a one day. That's what this was. And still make a pretty cool relatable lure, whopper plopper. Ingredients for a solid video right here. Was it? I can't even remember. Oh. Got one. Let my hand. Oh no. I don't even remember if I caught a fish with this. The action was just bloop, 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 bloop. It had a tiny little plop. It was pretty cool Ooh. in that regard. Painted gills. 
I like it better than that jitterbug bait. I, I really cannot. Oh, second fish I lost today. I would feel uncomfortable saying that it caught a fish or it didn't catch a fish because I really don't know. So I'm gonna give it a C because I painted the gills. I think I just got something backwards. I don't have the, the titles are too long. I don't have the numbers on these, but somewhere around this time I made the undeveloped bullfrog lure as well. And this was actually extremely successful. This lure, the undeveloped bullfrog tadpole swim bait, one day, three piece lure, beautifully detailed paint scheme and carvings. I carved the undeveloped legs on the bottom. Great shape to the body. The head was really fat and the tail narrowed. That's pretty sweet. And it's a fish catcher. I went to a pond with a bunch of tadpoles this size in it, bullfrog tadpoles and stuff. It didn't catch a ton of fish. Yeah. I guess I didn't fish with it that much though. Got a nice so chunky Maybe one. I didn't want to fish with it that much. Probably just because of the size, it didn't catch a ton of fish. Let's just give it an official. It deserves it because that is probably one of the best one days I've ever done. Good boy. The antique flying Helgramite. Where are you? So I made this, I fished with it once, and I put it away, put it on my shelf. There was a lure back in the day that looked like this, but it had like metal on the body back here, and just a weird lure that I found on the internet that I recreated for a video. If you ask me why now, I don't remember. I don't know why. I struggled to find the fish out of the creek that was willing to hit that, but I found them. I think I caught multiple fish with it. These are foggy memories, so excuse me if I'm wrong. It's just not that good though. It just doesn't hit the spot. You get to carving on this and making it that way and you just wonder why is it gotta be like that? A little bit official, but not in a good way. On to the next bait. The giant earwig is right there. Had a lip, got the weird pincher tail thing. It's lost all of its legs. It caught me a rainbow trout. It worked okay as a jerk bait kind of thing. It struggled hard to catch fish. I had to drop it in a very strategic lucky spot to get that rainbow trout with that bait too. It's got all the detail of an earwig. Therefore, I think it exceeds the officialness of the flying Helgramite. It's earned a beefishal. See how that says musky lure? That might as well say nothing lure because it caught nothing. Antique because it's from an original head and blank that was gonna be an old lure but never became one. And I put a soft tail on it. Instead of turning it into the, I think it was just gonna be like a jerkbait glider thing. Gave it this crazy crackle paint scheme. Went to the lake all excited. Gonna catch a musky. And it caught nothing. And it didn't even work that good because in my opinion, if you stick a soft plastic off the back of something, that's not giving a bait an action. That's just giving a bait a tail that moves, you know? An action's like a movement. And this bait had none of that. I didn't even carve the body. All of the components were given to me and it all just miserably failed. I threw away the lure, but I threw it away because all of the uh, paint and stuff started peeling off. Like the wood was reacting bad with my paint. I've never had that experience before. Maybe a varnish that was on that wood to begin with. And yeah, you could take the paint with your fingers and just peel off giant chunks and it just all fell apart and I threw it away. So, F. The reason that the hooks bent out on this thing isn't because of fish, because none of the fish I caught with this thing is, were that big. But it did catch a ton of fish. This little inline pink. One of those. Ultralight buzz bait, that's what I called it. Duh. In the creek performed extremely well. It caught me a ton of fish. Probably comparable to the Old Faithful if I kept fishing with it. But I put it away because this thing sinks. All I caught there was a chub. Just a chub. If you're fishing with a wooden bodied buzz bait thing, you probably want it to float, be able to pause and sit there. So yeah, didn't fish with it that much. But what it is, is this sinking inline spinner bait essentially and it works really good to catch fish. I even carved little gills for it. It's not that special though. It's beefishal. We have finally reached the 50th bait that we're ranking and I might split this video up into 1 through 50, 51 through 100, 101 through 150 and continue this series so long as we make baits on this channel. Like this video if you think that's a good idea. Maybe everybody hates it. Number 50, a one day swim bait. Bluegill paint scheme with a yellow tail swim bait. 
I remember going out with my brother in the creek and fishing with this, that video too. Struggling real hard, but eventually. Did I catch a fish? I remember the struggle. Why isn't the fish a memory? Snags. I remember a lot of snags. Maybe there was a fish caught way at the end. That's not even... So when it comes to that factor of officialness, it's pretty weak. When it comes to the bait itself, there's nothing memorable about it. So at some point I snagged it. I don't have it. Ugh. Yeah, it's getting a D. And here we are. We have ranked 50 different baits that I've made. Only one reached the rank of Omega Official. And only three are actually official. I'm happy with all of these. B Official, I'm still happy with. C Official is probably worth doing still. Lessons learned, you know? But all that, I almost wish I never did. Which includes videos I've got millions of views on, so... <laughs> this is weird. That's a weird thing to see right there. my actual opinion of the work I do. It's correct though. Next day, I can't spot a single flaw in my logic. This is early. It takes time to be official. The rankings will continue, spontaneously. I have no clue when I'll get to the rest. We've gone through 50, but there's already 140. And I'm not doing more than chunks of 50. Thanks for watching. On to the next bait.